EBI is back, ladies and gentlemen. EBI 15 featuring returning champion Eddie the Wolverine Cummings. In the featherweight division, Eddie Cummings is unstoppable. At EBI 4, he chainsawed through everybody with his legendary leg lock game and did the same thing to get the belt at EBI 7 as well. The one thing that the entire BJJ community can agree on is that Eddie Cummings is, without a doubt, the best leg locker in the history of grappling. Every rule set has its way to win, and uh, I believe the EBI rule set, the trick is to spend very little energy in regulation, um, and, and then you know work on controlling positions. With the featherweight belt completely secured by Eddie Cummings, he wanted to go down to the 135 weight class and take that bantamweight belt from Gio Martinez back in EBI 10 at Mexico City. Things didn't go as planned for Eddie Cummings. He lost in overtime. Gio Martinez got that arm bar. I mean, I mean, mostly, you know, it's a failure in technique, uh, definitely a failure in strategy. Uh, I think we all can agree on that. The strategy is very poor for that match, <laughs> you know. Um, but also technique, like a lot of technical innovations came from me studying that match. Gio comes up back to 145 once again, an attempt to reclaim the belt that was once his. You know, I know I was po possibly going to have my biggest match against Eddie Cummings. I haven't, you know, I haven't faced anybody from the Dan and Her Dead Squad, so I was very, you know, excited for the possibility, hopefully, that I would face Eddie Cummings, which was, you know, he was tearing up the scene, going out there, leg locking everybody, making it look easy, and, you know, I was ready for him, and I was ready for a good match, and, you know, that was the main thing I wanted, a exciting, good match, and, you know, whoever won, then they won that day, they're the champ that day, and, you know, um, I came ready for sure. Since EBI 10, the fans have wanted to see a rematch between Gio and Eddie Cummings, and, it's, and it was set up in a couple different shows, but things kept falling through. Now, this show, we might finally get to see the rematch everyone's been waiting for. Still the Bantamweight Champion, Gio Freakazoy Martinez. Also, in a special combat jiu-jitsu matchup, EBI CJJ Bantamweight Champion Nick Holmstein defends his title against Ben Eddy, who's coming off a spectacular win over UFC top 10 fighter Wilson Hayes back in Combat Jiu Jitsu Worlds 1. Hayes, the former UFC title challenger, former Elite XC featherweight champion, veteran of mixed martial arts. Now Armbar oh, coming. Oh, oh, it is! Wow. Ben Eddy by submission! He stops Wilson Hayes! I've put a lot of years into rubber guard, and I think that's kind of what the position takes. It, it takes a lot of time, but once you give it that time, it's, uh, yeah, it's a, I, I think it's the best full guard game there is, basically. You know, as far as games go, it's just another game. Just gotta watch that arm. I would have never seen myself even getting into strikes. I wasn't going after rubber guard for, for that thought, but now that I'm getting into combat jujitsu and getting into strikes, yeah, it's also, Perfect for that. It's perfect for um, stopping and, and keeping in range. Hayes taking those right to the top of the head. Will Nick Holmstein smash through Ben Eddy's crazy guard, or can Ben Eddy shock the world one more time and use that insane rubber guard of his to capture the EBI CJJ bantamweight belt? He's a 10 planet guy, you know, so I I do a lot of the 10 planet stuff too. I'm kind of a, a 10 planet Ronin, but I, I'm well aware he does rubber guard to a higher level than I do. 
much more of a pure rubber guard. So it's real simple. I'm just not going to get, he's not going to break my posture. I'm not going to get in his guard. And if he does get me in his guard, he's not going to break my posture. I'm strong as hell. Yeah. He, you know, he's going to have to break me down. I just don't think he can do it. Ben Eddie's getting slapped down, man. Sorry, you're coming for my title. He's got some slick moves, but it's just, he's not gonna break my posture. We're gonna find out here, Muscle Farm headquarters in beautiful Burbank, California. Watch it on UFC Fight Pass and on pay-per-view at inchbyinch.tv.